Hello, my name is Nerdbuilder. I'd like to welcome you back into another episode of Mine Colonies. I hope you're having a great day so far. So, another busy week in the colony, doing some upgrading, working on the roads, and even starting a runway over by our iron farm so we can take our cargo plane over there. The runway's not done yet. I'll probably touch on it in the next episode. We need to make it a little bit longer. But I, I think that way we can utilize the ultimate plane mod a little bit more. I also thought about maybe putting one near our end portal as well, putting a runway in there. That one would be a little bit of a tricky landing, though, because it's a jungle around. But we'll see. But anyways, yeah, another busy week. Let me go back in the first person mode here. And let's uh, let's start walking around and I could show some of the different things that we were working on this week, mostly on stream. I didn't do a lot off stream this week but of course we I touched up the area over here so the the track is temporary while we're pending the creation of a subway system under our colony which we'll be doing in one of the upcoming weeks there but the this area has been completely cleared out for the forester and it has been going very well he's up and functional and running again we're at level five there but the trees have been growing and i think this is a very good amount of space you can see i tried to space the trees out somewhat evenly as evenly as i could but it, it appears for the most part it looks like most of them are growing and we're getting a pretty decent production from it so i'm very pleased with this i'm not ruling out in the future getting another forest or maybe to like focus a little bit more on different types of wood like dark wood and jungle wood but you know, for right now, I think we're good. We have a decent amount of spruce and oak wood and a decent amount of birch wood and some acacia wood as well. So we got that done. Taught a lot of recipes over here in our stonemason and our sawmill. Been trying to see, trying to remember all the recipes from the other one, but we're just kind of adding them in as we go. So we've been getting the number up every time we upgrade something, something new comes up that we have to work on but you can see we're up to 92 recipes here and 25 on the architect's cutter there and over on the sawmill side over here we are at 89 and 10 there but adding to it little by little again it's a lot of the recipes are going to be items that appear frequently in the caledonia style here so that's changed a lot since our original style so some recipes are no longer needed but we did finally the courier's hut over here has been completed and also the uh we redid this house over here too and had to push the the wall back over here just slightly but it's looking good i think it was nice getting this house and we have some extra space was able to move some people over here so i have some water i could probably fill this in with some dirt or that there but yeah I got this all done I'm very pleased with it there and you can see on the bottom we keep getting the warehouses full so it's actually our second warehouse on the western side of our colony I think in the upcoming week we're gonna have to finally change that over so our nether miner is unfortunately still a hole in the ground while we're pending some material I got access to a silk touch pickaxe this week so it should help out a little bit some things like I needed a nether quartz ore not just nether quartz but it had to be you know like like with a silk touch pickaxe instead so i managed to snag some we just need some crimson wood now unfortunately we didn't have any in the inventory so we'll have i'll i'll be uh trying to go into the nether and seeing what we can get from there but you can see now that the road we have the road stretching all the way down to the end over here and we'll be continuing to work on the roads through the colony upcoming but we have all of our builds on the, pretty much all of our builds i should say down here all updated to our new building style with the exception of the guard tower which i'm waiting because as you can see this this wall back here is not the absolute edge of the border over here it used to be the border used to stop actually right about there but it with some of the buildings over here it's pushed it down a little bit further but for right now i think what we're going to do is put a move the guard tower over here but then i think we're going to be able to fit a couple more things in here maybe like one or two other buildings so we'll see what we're going to fit in 
here, but that's why this one hasn't been knocked down and redid yet, just because I'd rather get these buildings in place first, and then we can put the the, the guard tower at the end here. But looking good, I haven't done a lot of upgrading on some of the new buildings that we have yet. We need to start doing that. I think we've been focused so much on taking down and reconstructing some of the buildings that I've kind of neglected some of the new buildings that we have and upgrading them, you know, our glass blowers hut here so yeah i think i think what we'll have to do is we'll have to start focusing on doing those and this is just a courier's hut over here so decided to put one at the end over here too and that's actually at level five there but yeah let's head back down a lot of work on the roads this weekend or this week i should say and one other thing i'm just gonna i'll talk about quickly so a little bit of a more brief update this week uh again like i think we focused a lot on getting the roads done and getting some of these buildings upgraded and oh it's snowing yeah we are we are in winter so <laughs> um let's see before we get cold but yeah so we also we also fixed our wolf farm i won't head over there uh now because we'll probably freeze but we did fix our wool farm finally because we were missing a few sheep. They, I, I, I'm not sure what happened. Something had gotten to them. I don't know if the shears did something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but we finally fixed the wool farm, so we're up fully operational there. The sugarcane farm is going very well. But this area coming up is going to be the next area that we're going to look to move things around over here. So this this is actually the remnants of a former courier's hut. They don't, for some reason, they're not taking down the entire building. I think it might just be the old style. You could see the construction tape still up, but they said they were done. So, yeah, uh, that there. So, uh, that's pretty much the big stuff that's been going on in the colony this week. So, again, yeah, I, I think a lot, not a lot of on stream, but a lot of smaller projects this week and a few upgrade projects as well. I've also changed the way that we do our schedules on the live stream as well so instead of hitting a target each day we're trying to hit it like a couple targets each week so i think that's going to be a good beneficial way to go about this because for the upgrade for the renovating like essentially taking them down and putting them back up we still have a decent amount like i pointed out this area over here but we also have our town hall and our university which yeah i, I have mixed feelings about taking the university down I'm, I'm like almost tempted to leave it. I'm not sure because that's going to be such a, that's probably the biggest building. So that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do, but the guard tower here may have to go. And then we obviously have, except for the hospital over there, all of these buildings over here are going to have to be uh, updated, upgraded to the new style. Again, these are the old style, these stone ones uh, to kind of match the new style. So I'm thinking we're probably going to have to make some modifications back here to fit everything and i'm not sure how big they are it, with the caledonia style some buildings are bigger than the original the mine county's original ones that we had from 118 but other ones are more compact so it, it's kind of like a hit and miss some of them tend to be a little bit longer i've noticed than other ones so just about planning everything out but i think we're we're making some good progress on it and i think we're starting to fit some, like a lot of things onto like road grids here which is good because while we tried our best Obviously, when we initially started building buildings, it was hard to envision, like, for example, how we had the Forester's Hut where we did. At the time, it was hard to envision what we were going to do with roads. So I think uh, eventually I'll do a video on, like, things I wish I would have did different, but I can tell you that's one of them that I wish we, I would have planned out the roads a little bit more and then the building placement as well there. So, oh, getting cold. They're in the middle of the snowstorm. But yeah, so we're going to have a busy week upcoming as well. Like I said, with the warehouse, I think we're going to have to finally take care of that. But with that being said, uh, you know, like I said, a little bit more of a brief update this week on the things that we've been up to. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the apiary or the beekeeper's hut today. I think it's about time to get some honey finally for our colony automated there. So I'm going to wait for the storm to clear up here we're actually in the back we're well we're in the middle of winter right now so i'm gonna try i'm gonna wait for the storm to clear up 
<clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to head over and we're going to do the build for today. So stay tight and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're over in the northeastern part of our colony right over here. And for today's build, what we're going to be doing, we're finally going to be putting in an apiary which uh, the glass blowers hut was kind of the predecessor to this so that they can make glass bottles but i um i think it's time to get the apiary just so we have like a reliable source of honey coming in especially for the hospital we, we can harvest it ourselves which i have done because we have a bunch of beehives right over in that direction by the past the barracks and the house there but it's very unreliable and again it, it'd be nice to have it a little bit more automated so the apiary is where the beekeeper will work. The beekeeper breeds bees and harvest honeycomb or honey bottles. You choose which on the second page of the apiary's GUI, which I'll get a little bit more into the honeycombs in just a second because it took me a little bit to figure it out <laughs> and I, I finally got it there. But the level of the apiary building will be will dictate the maximum number of hives. So again, hives are different from the bee from the bee. Uh, from the beehive or bee nest so you see a beehive bee nest here which you need three honeycomb in order to craft a beehive there so this is the block that we're going to need it doesn't on their wiki it's hard to tell what the block is but this is what it appears to be the beehive there but at a level one we'll be able to have one of these hives here level two two three four four eight five sixteen so we'll probably have to teach the recipe to the carpenter here but for you know at the beginning we'll probably have him or whoever our, our beekeeper ends up being getting some honeycombs first which requires the beehive to be at level five of honey which i was trying to harvest some honeycomb from the ones that we had in our colony we've harvested them before and there's not as many bees around i think they're kind of one of them stuck on the building i think some of them kind of they floated off in that because there's a bunch of empty hives but there's not really much honey in them but it requires both of those holes to be filled with honey and it's like kind of like overflowing that is like honey level five it's it's much less if you just have the bottom hole for example filled that that's not going to cut it so if you try to use your shears on it you'll just break the the hive but with the uh, with the level five one which i was able to get some honeycomb going outside our colony a little bit and found one because i knew there was a beehive just behind the wall there which i haven't touched before so that one was overflowing with honey but the the if the beekeeper is asking for hives but there are some nearby make sure you've set the hives for them to take care of with the hive tool so that's the thing we'll keep in mind just in case they can or they cannot he can't find the hives that are there we may have to craft another one so in order to get this thing going but i figure what we can do is at least get this built and then i'll probably have to Presumably, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see if we have to give him a honeycomb as well, or a beehive as well, like in the, in the building process, because otherwise we'll have to go find another, uh, some more honey, or honeycombs there. So, but let's go ahead and let's craft this block. I have our crafting table down, and I think we're going to put, I was counting out, because we're going to eventually put a street over here and move some stuff over. But if I count out one, two for the sidewalk, one, two, three, four for the road, one, two. Okay, so this will be the, the edge of the building can be right here. I think we'll have a side, like a road sidewalk kind of right behind our beach here, connecting with the road here. And have the other road kind of heading down this way as well, too. So, okay, let's go ahead. And I think I have some... Uh, let's go ahead first and craft the beehive. So let's get the correct planks. And almost <laughs> so many different types. Should be coming just up in a second. All right, so we have some spruce ones. Excellent. So we have that. First time we've crafted that. So let me break down a little bit more here of the planks. But let's put these around the edge. Here, and we'll put this in the or not the bee nest the beehive here i actually tried the silk touch i silk touched one and got it there but we'll put our build tool up top and you can see apiary right here so let's go ahead and plop this down uh here let's see how big this is going to be again there might be some flashing here but we'll switch over to caledonia and let's go ahead and try to find 
infrastructure. Uh, I see maybe under. There we go. That makes sense. All right, so we'll take this out to level five. There. Okay. I think this is probably the back side. And let's see, that doesn't look like the front. See a lamppost, though. Uh, let me just take a swig of water. Is it on this side? Where is the entrance to this thing? <laughs> Because these are not doors. Ah, here we go. Okay. Here's the front. I feel like that was a lot harder than that probably should have been. Okay, so not here. There we go. Okay. First try. So, yeah, I think we're going to line it up right here. Coming through. And I think that still leaves enough room here. Because we'll have a road coming through here. But we'll have to do some maneuvering. Through here. I think this is a good area to keep it right right next to the beach. Right here. But let me just make sure we have the appropriate amount. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. And then the edge of it is right here. So excellent. And I think this is a good. I think this will be good because we'll want to leave a little bit of room here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, six. May actually push it back. Between here, we'll want to leave a little bit more room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, just push it back one more so we can do a four wide street here. Okay. And this lines up here, and then we shouldn't have any problems in the back here. Nope, just have to do a little bit of terraforming in the back. But okay, let's go ahead and let's plop this down right here. And let's see where the, the work block is somewhere over here, I think. And having that a lot recently that the work block's been popping up in very uh, weird areas underground for some of them with these styles. Where the heck is the work block? <laughs> um, probably somewhere. Let's take down this tree. If anything, I'll cut out. It might have to do some digging. Like I said, I've been noticing. I've been noticing recently that there has been some like the blocks have been ending up in weird situations I, I don't think i don't know if there's an underground component to it but let's take that out okay i think it might be probably somewhere under here because i did see a dirt block under here so let me very quickly let's just try to dig this out and we can help them flatten it out over here there it is okay good <laughs> easy enough Okay, let me just move these up right there. All right, not bad. So let's take a look here at what we're going to need. So we're going to need some flowers, which luckily we have the florist, a campfire, which we know how to make. And yeah, so we're going to need another beehive. So I'm going to have to go find another uh, bee nest that's at level five, because again, we're going to need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find that before we start today's build. So that way I you get three honeycomb from one from one level five beehive that's full of like level, like level five honey. So you only need to find like, well, essentially for this build to get started, because you'll have to find, you'll have to get six honeycomb, three to make the initial beehive block to craft the block, the work block, and then another one just to get started. After this point, it should be a lot easier uh, from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to find one of these. Other than that, this doesn't look too difficult and it looks like this should definitely be obtainable so we'll come back and we'll do this by way of a time lapse so stay tuned and we'll be heading in the time lapse in just a second
Okay, and we're back. So yeah, not too difficult of a build. And let me just explain a few things because right before I came back on, I, I did a little bit of playing around with the hut a little bit. You can see we do have, or there is a bee out here. So we managed to snag a bee from the beehives that were over in that direction in our colony. So I, I thought there were a couple more over there. I can't find them. I, presumably to breed the bees, we would need to get one more. So I'll follow up on that. I see him, essentially we had to bring the bee over here. So the beekeeper will not go out and get a bee for you. So I brought one over here, leading it with a poppy and just brought him on the side over here. Cause I figured, because here's some of the flowers that they put out, uh, presumably so they could get pollen and they will fly into here. And she may actually have collected some so let's head inside and let's take a look here. Yep. So she got some honeycomb. She's set to do honeycomb there. And yeah, so really quick, let's take a look at what's needed for level two. Not that, not that bad there. Okay. So it's actually pretty easy to get that upgraded. You could set a minimum stock luckily. So again, for honeycomb, you're going to need shears. So I set one, so they always have shears here and poppies, that way they can breed the bees as well. You can see here, you can turn breeding on or off again. Presumably I'll have to get a second bee. I don't have one right now, so I'll have to bring one over here so that way we can get two in there. But you can also change this between collect honeycomb and collect honey. But right now we're gonna keep it on honeycomb just to get a supply of those going and then we'll switch it back over to honey. And that. so I don't think that this is dependent upon a request from for example like the hospital with the honey one i think that she's just going to keep collecting honey so we'll have to keep watching i guess even we could set a minimum stock for some bottles glass bottle here i think that would, uh because that way eventually when she collects those yeah that would be the the one so let's set a stack of glass bottles here as well and I guess we'll have to keep watch on that to make sure, because I don't know if we're going to end up with about <laughs> a ridiculous amount of honey or not. So I guess we'll keep doing it with honeycombs. You know, we'll, we'll get a supply of honeycombs and we'll get a supply of honey. And then we'll probably go back to honeycombs. That way she's not filling up our warehouse with about a million bottles of honey there. But you can also set what flowers to do. I, I clicked a couple. I left some off. I just clicked some of the ones I know for a fact that our floors can make there and the biggest thing right here is the selection tool which i have right here so originally she wasn't recognizing the hive so i had to come over here and essentially assign this over uh remove you want to add so you can see hive you can remove it or add it so hive added successfully there and yeah so pretty pretty easy and we'll see how the production is again like i the bee the bee will come and go i'm not sure if he went back in or not, you can tell with that there's a little bit of honey that comes out on the side that she just emptied it, so there's not right now, but it's a little way to tell if there's something going on, and hopefully the bee won't stray too far away, because for some reason they've been getting stuck, it seems like, on the roofs. I actually just rescued, I rescued two. If I had known, I would have brought them both over at the time. You might have went back into the beehive there, but... Yeah, so they, I don't know why they keep getting stuck, but they do, so... But he, can't, he comes out and kind of does, like, a lap around here and then he even stopped over at these ones and then you could see he had some pollen on him but he might be back in the hive right now so but very good i'll give an update in the in a future episode about how the progress is coming along here but i think we're going to leave it here for today thank you so much for coming in and checking out our build of the beekeepers hut i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please consider dropping a like down below it's an excellent free way to support our channel and community and if you're not subscribed or following please consider subscribing or following it's free it doesn't cost anything again another excellent way to support our channel and community so more people can find us here and we do have a discord that's open to everyone a channel discord so if you have a discord and you're interested hop on over there as well we'll be back in another week with another episode i'm not exactly sure what we're going to do yet i'm thinking we might start getting some of the other farms in like the shepherd's hut or the chicken farm or there's a rabbit hatch so um, i'm thinking we might do one of those next and oh good he just he just came out so comes and goes. Hopefully we won't get stuck or lost anywhere. But I'll have to track down a second beam. But until then, my name is Nerd Builder. Thank you so much for checking out the video and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.